Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's try this one. And um, I think, um, so we're going to model this one first. So basically one, one, one of this. Um, so this one is the top of this. So um, and also, um, and then next time we're going to create the, the whole thing. Okay, so today we're going to model this. Uh, so let's start and first we need to decide what um, family we're going to use so what family template um, we're going to use adaptive okay so generic model adaptive here okay so basically so if you look let me just do a screenshot so what we need is we need a point here, okay, and then we need a height. So um, I think if so, actually for this exercise, I'm going to ignore this, okay, ignore that, and so basically we just need a height here. So maybe um, maybe um, it's. Yeah, it's fine. We can set maybe for this one. So set, use this as a the h the height. Okay, height, um, and then so of course uh, offset from this point go up, and then so we just need this is the second point. Okay, so the first point, second point, and then offset to here connect. So we have a reference line here, and then we can place all these point on the. Uh, reference line. Okay, so um, first in this, um, we first would place a point anywhere. So, because we're going to make this point a um, adaptive point, so doesn't um, really matter where you po place a point. So yeah, basically maybe just place onto this uh, reference plan. So. Uh, this uh, adaptive point and from this adaptive point we need to place a point use draw on word plan okay set a word plan pick the horizontal word plan of this point and place onto this adaptive point so now select this point so we have this offset so we can create a parameter so let's call it uh, h and maybe instance and okay and okay so now we have a uh, the second point okay so first point second point um we don't really need, we, we don't need to connect them connect these two points we can directly we can place the third point so the third point it will be um we just need to draw another point use draw on work plan set so pick so you can see this vertical work plan of this point and place onto the point okay so if you see this warning so uh, it's it means uh, it's correct okay so okay and then just move this point to the side so I can see another offset um, we can just call it um, what do we call it oh, maybe I'll just call it off offset okay and okay so now we have one point one point two point three of course this one's adaptive point and these two are just normal point so these two are controlled by this point so if we move this adaptive point so it will follow okay and now we can uh, we can connect these two points create a reference line so this reference line uh, so we can place reference up oh, sorry point on the ref on this reference line okay so now um, how can we control the height and uh, the offset so I um, so you, you we can use this um, parameter to control so so for example type 4 meter let's go up but um, I think what we need to do is we need to control this angle as well right so so usually um, so if I go back to here so you probably want to, because when you have multiple um, of this um, family you probably want the 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 angle to be the same and you might have um, different height <laughs> I don't know but anyway so 
you want to control, I'll just draw another. I'll just draw another triangular shape. So this is angle. I'll just call it A, and this is H, and this is offset. Okay. So how can we control this angle? So um, what we need to do is we just need to create this A. I'll just call it A and angle parameter. Okay, basically this is the parameter we want to so control. So we want to type number here. So we don't want to have a formula here because once you have a formula uh, in this uh, on the formula, you won't be able to control. Okay, so what we need is we need to, we need this angle um, parameter in the formula of one of these. Okay, so basically, um, probably I just want. To control the height as well, so we just need a formula in um, offset. So we use height and the angle to control the offset. Okay. So what is the offset? Okay. So we know that tangent a. So in, tra uh, in trigonometry, tangent a equals offset divided by h, right? And then so. We can just time uh, times h, sorry, <laughs> just times h. Get rid of h. Just time h. So offset equals tangent a times h. So if I go here, offset equals um, tangent a times h. So this is a formula. So now, if I click OK, so this angle. So it's current is ten. So this angle. So if I, if I connect, if I connect these two points, and um, dimension it. The let, let me just try to dimension it. So I set work plan. Set on this di dimension angular. So you will see it's ten degree. And if I go here, change it to fifteen. I go fifteen. Right. So. And if I change the height, so for example, if I drag this one, so you will see this angle keep uh, 15 degrees. It's kept 15 degrees. Okay, so all good. So now let me just, uh, me, I'll just control Z, go back, go back, go back, get rid of, okay, this one, we don't need this line. Okay, so now we have this reference line, we have all the parameters, and then we can start to play the point. So the points are very simple. Just uh, use draw on face and place onto this. So if you look at this, um, so you can just just yeah, you can decide where you place. So for for example, for uh, I'll just uh, place this one in the middle. Maybe this one at uh, zero point A, maybe, and maybe this one um, zero point three. So it means thirty percent of the uh, uh, entire length. Maybe this one need to go up a little bit. Zero point six, maybe zero point nine. So okay. So now these three points will be the base, um, the base point of these uh, these uh, arms. Okay. Then what we can next, what we can do is we from this point. We can draw something. So I'm not going to directly draw a line. I'm going to use a circle because uh, um, we're going to uh, control control the angle. So so see this arm. Um, so this is like this. This one's like this. So we're going to control it. So somehow there's a an angle between here or maybe bit between here. So we just need to. Um, uh, Control, control the, the angle of this arm. So, what we're going to do is just draw. Um, let's use reference line. Okay. So, because the circle, we don't want to see the circle. So, use reference line. And also, um, I'm going to use circle. Draw on word plan. Set word plan. Pick. So, we need to pick the uh, the the correct one. So, not this one. Tab. This one, okay. So if I rotate, you will see this is the one. So it's a vertical work plan of this point. Okay, let's do it again. So not this one. Tab this one, and then we can just create a circle. 
So now just create a, rad a radius and then we can just create a parameter. So let's call it maybe R instance. Okay. And um, I think, yeah, so this R will be the length of the arm. Okay, so length of the arm. I'll just quickly do this um, uh, again. Tab radius. Okay, set tab and the radius. So I'm going to give the R radius to both. So now we have three. Okay, and then we're going to place a point use once again use draw on face place onto this circle so i just re re randomly just place it here place it here place it here and then select this point so i'm going to select all these three and here you so see this measurement type i'm going to change this one to angle so once change it to angle so it will be control bar so just a number so zero is zero degree so we see it just looks like a perpendicular to this line so this is where the zero degree is. So if I type 45, it will go up 45 to that angle, right? Ne if I type negative 45, it will go down here. So now, you know, um, uh, we can use this angle to control. So I'll just create, we already have one ang angle. So uh, I'll just call it A2 <laughs> instance. Okay. And okay. And then the radius, the arm, um, we can just connect all these points to create the arm, okay? And then, of course, the length of the arm. So we can use ch change this R. So, uh, for example, R1500. Uh, so, yeah, so you see arm. So, one, two, three. And then, of course, uh, oh, maybe we need to change the um, the angle because we we probably want them to be different. So this one's A2, so I'll just create another one for this. I'll just create a A3, okay? And this one, let's create another one, call it a, A4 instance, okay? And okay, so now we can have different angles. So for example, um, A2 can be a zero degree, so you will see it go to roughly here, right? So a3 can be um, 30 degree, so go up, uh, maybe too much, 20 degree, come down a little bit. So this one can come down to negative 20, for example. So yeah, so that is it. So um, I think, let me, oh, actually, let me just have a look again. So yeah, so basically, now we have the skeleton of this family. So we can so we can start to um, so to start to hang uh, yeah do we need maybe actually um, yeah we probably don't need that one but we let's just yeah just only one two three to make uh, just give it a little <laughs> thickness so. I'm going to change them to re a reference line because we are going to create a form. So we don't need, if we, oh, hang on. Um, yeah, maybe for now, let me just control Z. I think for now, model line is fine. Okay, so model line is fine. So we are going to try, try this, try this and see um, if, will work um, so I'm going to create another um, this time it will be mass okay so conceptual mass and load this adaptive family into this uh, conceptual mass so now you will see if I place it so maybe I'll just increase the height a little bit currently it's four meter so let's make it 20 meter okay oh that's two meter 20 good and then increase the length of this one so maybe a uh, four meter yeah and you can see this is it's a uh, invisible because it's a reference line here that's 10 degree okay if i change it to 15 degree yeah it works 10 okay so and then 
zero degree, so you can see all that's A3, yeah, A2, let's go up a little bit, yeah, so A4, let's go up a little bit, negative 10, so it works, right? Now, what I'm going to do is, so in this conceptual mass, I'm going to create something, so maybe just a line, okay, on the, so I'm going to just draw a line, a reference line, on this, uh, on this level, uh, reference level, I think it's our level one, and then um, we can what we can do. We can use the model path, so you can type in a number. So this will give us in the nodes, and then we can place this one. So just uh, or you can just directly pick new host and directly. Oh hell, it looks like ah uh, yeah, it will change the parameter. So actually, what you can see, it's 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 in the you know. It's not vertical, so what we need to do is go back here and check the always vertical option. So then load it back. All right, now it's vertical, and then we can just use a repeat. So this will repeat this family on this um, divided uh, path. Okay, so depending on what number you have here, so it will repeat, but. The issue is one if if it's still under this repeater, so it, you won't be able to. So you can try to tab select one of them, but if you change one, you change all. You can see thirty degree. It's all thirty degree. Uh, if you change, you know, uh, radius uh, six meter, it will change all of them. So what you uh, to because we want to have different. Um, different angles right so what we need to do is we need to re remove the repeater after you remove the repeater you can have different um, angles okay so now you um, you can just select one and so for example you can change the angle oh no sorry wrong one so we want them to be all you know at 10 degrees so that's all good uh, when you this change this one so you can change one of them okay so it won't affect the other one okay so yeah so basically this is it and also in here because this is a conceptual mass just remember uh, you can use dynamo in um, conceptual mass not model in place mass okay so you so which means you can just create a dam, dyn, dynamo uh, script and then randomize all the angles um, yeah I think that's um, it so and yeah I think that's it for today um, next time I'm going to talk about uh, uh, how um, what's next okay so one is so you can use this reference uh, use this model lines to create a mass but you can also i think there might be other different ways but we will try um, next time okay so that's it for today so if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye